sorry about this. It's always on my lap, on my ubiquitous Nokia couch, $100. Um, I hate this thing. Um, but I live and work here on it with Zoom to you um, further. I'm sorry. Um, Civilization is Discontents by Freud. Uh, the lens goes in, close up. What is a dyad? What, what is the mortar that holds the bricks of a city together? Is the city a central art object representing um, or the objective correlative, the symbol, the, the noun to the symbol of civilization. Freud was very down on civilization as Marx was coming out of two million years of, of uh, Christian Europe as, a, as an algorithm as a means, um, read as a means of transforming chattel slavery until the return of chattel slavery under globalism. Um, as a 19th century, late 19th century, 20th century, viewing massive wars of industrial scale, um, these two gentlemen, Marx and Freud, uh, attempted to put the critical brakes on Understanding exploitative features of civilization, read the city, um, perhaps as I contended in the last lecture, the central artifact, if the internet is the sibling, and certainly under COVID, we noticed this most acutely, um, what is its central artifact? Um, uh, and I contended this might be the smartphone in each of our pockets, uh, which I find to be a ubiquitous desire. Uh, we're talking about construction, love as contra civilization. When we have it, we don't need systems. We feel fulfilled, which is the, one of the central messages of civilization is discontent, but contrast to love, we need to contrast mitigate um, nascent violence in humanity, in cities. The male project to protect, to hunt, to attack, to, to be the protector in the system has morphed under uh, urbanism of 6,000 years and, and Freud was seeing the, the storms show up. Certainly World War I happened on his shift and he died in England during World War II. Um, I think, is that the case or just before it? Um, what are these aspects of the non-civilized within the civilized? It lose, as we pointed out, and a couple other micro-modernist, post-Marxist have alluded to the fact that the individual creates their own project of modernity and that the clay, the, the material most used in this is love. So we're going to examine structures of love, taking all the juice out because that causes sensationalism which causes a perceived um, attack on authority and it's frankly less interesting than in the power uh, relations within creating the modernist notion, micro-modernist notion of love. Limitation, focus on individual goals, interacting with both people's goals may affect self-disclosure, deception, catfishing, um, a brand new term. Uh, many people lie online. Our theory does not take this into account. Number of websites in study, there was um, a joke in the 90s, no one knows you where, who you are online now because of surveillance and cookies and all these other things. The ability to look someone up immediately after they are a possible contender in your project of modernity against civilization, love, you start to know the background of everyone. Um, 
uh, expected result, a positive relationship between the amount of depth of self-disclosure and age, operational definition, desire relationship outcome, desired number of sexual partners within 12 months, level of self-disclosure, ratio of number of messages. So these are these are real shopkeeper results, similar to maybe bringing water into huge cities, bringing back a culture of happiness, the pursuit of happiness, happiness as a doomed project, according to Freud in um, Civilization and its Discontents. Um, uh, uh, what would make someone happy in the city I have this toolkit, love is in my toolkit, I can have a partner for life, I can have a family, I can have multiple things in the city. I, uh, the, the smartphone in the pocket sort of begs its own result, uh, which is a type of disembodied dissatisfaction, as we saw with uh, Freud's notion of civilization as discontent, seeing these gigantic urban places, his Vienna elegant town, which was going to suffer under the, the losing of World War, um, the end of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, um, the cataclysms of maybe, you know, in terms of Marx, market-driven of exploitation. How do we get out of the implied exploitation of civilization. Um, this was a study done with 100 participants, 50 from paid dating site match, and 50 from unpaid, okay, Cupid. Um, interesting aspect of paid, unpaid. Creating your dyad in the city. Um, there are tips, suggestions, tweaking of the dial, but the central issue in this, what makes a city what makes happiness, what makes a countervailing influence against the, the implied exploitation of civilization, Freud and Marx, 19th century, but so many of the micro-modern, high modernity, so many of the micro-modernists like Zygmunt Bauman, uh, Giddens, uh, Ulrich Beck, Illuse, post-Marxists such as Bonk Johan, uh, Berardi, um, uh, to extent the French language philosophers are talking about how do you construct theoretically the notion out of Lacanian lack, Zizek to a certain extent. Um, how do you build it? How do you build happiness in the city? Oh, by defying the prisoner's dilemma, by constructing love to bulwark yourself against um, exploitative civilization, schools, suspended gratification, markets, um, generational conflicts, uh, perceived identity conflicts, race, gender, uh, perceived uh, latent and manifest um, identity roles, uh, the inclusion of prejudice in those identity roles, how do we do it? Um, many say it had neither a positive or a negative effect. Um, and what did this have to do with uh, dyads? Um, the pool of eligible looks much like the Zygmunt Bauman um, uh, modernity. Um, Social networks feed into this, the modernist project, the micro-modernist project, the snowflake project. Um, who's accessible? Uh, uh, cyber propinquity, social propinquity. What is appealing? Is it similar? Is it familiar? Is it effective state? Physical status? Personality? Interesting uh, TED talk by Alain de Botton said we do not marry, i.e. cisgender, marry to replicate. We do not marry the most apt or the most correct individual. We, his thesis was, we marry um, the most familiar individual. And this 
hearkening back to Freud might be a familiarity with uh, some neurosis um, within that incompletion of the project of happiness in modernity. Um, depiction, stimulus, ball, theory of intimacy over time. Um, you grow up, the spiritual, intellectual, emotional, social, physical is part of that uh, natural aging process, perhaps. Perhaps it is all a construct of civilization meant to exploit. Um, certainly, uh, modern marriages in this Freudian uh, discontent way could be seen as an institution of exploitation um, when something ideal feel, fails the priestly, priestly classes uh, such as lawyers, shrinks, professors are there to explain it all to you to make it better in a profiteering sort of aspect um, moving further um uh, into this idea of the prisoner's dilemma in constructing the dyad. Let's just talk about the dyad and then it goes off into you know, more permutations than I could even imagine. Um, but this, the, the, the aspects of swiping is the kernel of the prisoner's dilemma. Um, hopefully with two swipes, and, and many of these sites are, have the same sort of operational basis. Um, two swipe rights would lead to um, a gaming of the dyad to individuals over corrupting exploitative civilization, the prison guard in this prisoner's dilemma. Uh, so uh, further, 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 modern love, examination of modern love, authors use emotional words to the, as essays progress, a flourishing of this notion, back to you, lose that there are discontents, uh, structures of that modernity as micro-modernity, intimacy, infatuation, empty love will lead up to, out of little bit of the sour grapes of the lose of of um a, f a fact of of nurture over nature men and women are nurtured into their gender narratives rather than nature there should be a balance with science-based biology neuroendocrinology so forth but we're looking at again, the, the bricks of the city and the clicks, the bricks and the clicks, the clicks of the new internet landscape as a sibling with lots of sibling rivalry to the 6,000 year old artifact of civilization, which is the city. The artifact of the new micromodernist is the cell phone, uh, intimacy, passion, commitment, um, consummate love equals intimacy, passion, and commitment. <coughs> Again, my love of these facile little charts, not to agree, but to enter in a Socratic dialogue with each one of these charts, not explaining them, but pointing out their structure. What, it, what the heck is this structure? It's just, you know, do we see this in many of the replies in this prisoner's dilemma? Um, romantic love, compassionate love, fatuous love. Um, what are these things? Again, uh, Freud, um, and certainly modern uh, sociology, psychology, positions um, love, lowercase l, practical, as the central bulwark bulwark against um, civilization as corrupting, as coercive. Um, it is your personal project which you are engaged with every day. Um, according to some neo-Freudians, every hour of the day. Um, you think about this, you have the general feelings for this, and you work it out from there. Again, this little pyramid looks 
staunch. As we then go into uh, Giddens' theory of love and modernity, um, sorry, fine print, um, it is confluent love is contingent upon the individual will, mutual disclosure, and intimacy. Um, it is supposedly rational. Oh, fucking God. Oops, sorry. Um, my camera froze. <laughs> 